This video is sponsored by GPU Audio. Oasis songwriter Noel Gallagher has never really tried to hide his influences. He seems fairly happy to let people know which older tracks he used to write his new songs. For example, Cigarettes and Alcohol opens with a bluesy E major guitar riff which is very similar to that heard at the start of a different British rock and roll tune. The riff from T-Rex's Get It On is effectively two guitar parts, one chugging away on an E chord like this, and another adding chords above and this recognisable blues lick going down G, F sharp and into E. And Noel has basically combined these two elements from the T-Rex riff into one riff for Cigarettes and Alcohol. See if you can guess which Oasis song is based on the 1973 track How Sweet To Be An Idiot written and performed by Neil Innes. How sweet to be an idiot I'm sweet to be whatever I Not only is the opening melodic phrase of both of these songs identical, but they are both sung over the same descending chord progression and they are both in the same key of G major. Due to the likeness between these two songs, Oasis was sued by Innes' record label and Innes received songwriting credit and therefore presumably royalties for Oasis' whatever. Some of you may already know that Neil Innes is perhaps best known for his Beatles parody band, The Ruttles. And on the Ruttles 1996 track, Shangri-La, Neil Innes actually got his own back on Oasis by including a couple little nods to Whatever. At the beginning of the track, we can hear an excerpt of the strings from Whatever, followed by a nod to the Beatles' A Day in the Life. And then again near the end of the track, we can hear Neil quoting a lyric from Oasis's Whatever. Of course, Oasis weren't only inspired by Beatles parody bands, but by the real thing as well. Little moments of Beatle influence can be found throughout Oasis's back catalogue, but perhaps the Oasis song to most overtly borrow from a Beatles song is She's Electric. The chorus of She's Electric is very similar to that of While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Told you. The two melodies in places are note for note the same. And While My Guitar Gently Weeps isn't the only Beatles song that Oasis channeled in She's Electric. The outro of She's Electric seems to be a direct reference to the outro of With A Little Help From My Friends. A little help from my friends with a little help from my friends. Another classic song that Noel has borrowed from is Imagine by John Lennon. Don't Look Back in Anger effectively starts with a slightly simplified form of the Imagine piano riff, and Noel makes no effort to hide the fact that Imagine was the kicking off point for Don't Look Back in Anger. In the case of Don't Look Back in Anger, I mean, the, the, the opening piano riff is Imagine. Another Beatle that Noel did some borrowing from is George Harrison. Noel admits himself that the guitar solo on Supersonic is lifted from Harrison's My Sweet Lord. As Noel explains in this interview, it wasn't a conscious decision to insert the My Sweet Lord guitar line into his song. It's just a natural part of how he writes his songs. On Supersonic, there's the, the guitar solo. That's just the riff off My Sweet Lord. So and I didn't sit there and listen to My Sweet Lord and go, I'm going to have that riff. It's like, that just came to me, you know. And all right, so it sounds a bit like My Sweet Lord, but you know. Ass. You've got enough money anyway. They stole it anyway, didn't they? Didn't they? 
They do get sued for that. I'm gonna fucking sue him. You know, they're only playing what they've heard in their record collections. One of Oasis' earliest singles, Shaker Maker, is strikingly similar to the classic song I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing. I'd like to build the world a home and furnish it with love. In fact, the likeness was so obvious at the time that Oasis tribute band No Way Sis released a cover version of I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing in the style of Oasis. And this cover actually managed to chart at number 27 on the UK single charts. Due to the likeness between the two songs, Oasis were reportedly sued for half a million dollars by Coca-Cola. And if you're wondering, wait, what do Coca-Cola have to do with this? Well, the background of I'd Like to Teach the World to Sing is quite peculiar. The song was first written with a different lyric and title, True Love and Apple Pie. Then in 1971, advertising executives rewrote the lyrics into an ad for Coca-Cola, sung by the British group The New Seekers. I like to teach the world to sing, sing with me. The New Seekers also released an extended version of the song with the Coca-Cola references removed, but it was ultimately Coca-Cola who sued Oasis for their song Shaker Maker. If you've ever produced your own music, I'm sure you've run into issues with latency and how frustrating it can be when your computer's CPU power just can't give you enough. Well, today's sponsor GPU Audio can help you with that. GPU Audio's technology has redefined the potential of audio processing using your graphics card to speed up conventional processes with ultra low latency, high fidelity and multi-channel audio. GPU Audio can accelerate the power of some of VSL's amazing plugins like Vienna Powerhouse and Synchronized Dimension Strings, making these already impressive plugins extra powerful. There's never been a better time to use your GPU to process audio. Get up to 45% off VSL's synchronized libraries and GPU Audio's Vienna Powerhouse by heading to the VSL website using the link down below. Taking excerpts of existing tracks and working them into new songs is, consciously or not, clearly part of Noel Gallagher's approach to songwriting. For example, he admits that his track Half the World Away is based on the Burt Bacharach and Hal David classic This Guy's In Love With You. It sounds exactly the same. I'm surprised Backrack hasn't sued me yet. Despite Noel describing the two songs as sounding exactly the same, it's more or less just the opening chord progression that's the same between these two songs. Both songs feature the same move from chord one to chord four with the major seventh added. In fact, in 96, two years after Half the World Away came out, Burke Bacharach, who composed This Guy's In Love With You, actually invited Noel to sing This Guy's In Love With You at a concert in London. So I imagine Burke was not only aware of the likeness between the two songs, but was also quite okay with it. You see this guy This guy's in love with you this is the 1988 song Clean Profit by The Lars. Can you clock which Oasis song was inspired by this track's opening guitar figure? Noel has reportedly said that Clean Profit by The Lars was an inspiration for the importance of being idle, and we can certainly hear that in the opening guitar phrase. Apart from with Shaker Maker and Whatever, on the most part, Oasis have got away with their borrowing and lifting from older songs. However, one bit of borrowing that they didn't get away with was on their 1996 track Step Out. The chorus of Step Out sounds really quite close to the chorus of Stevie Wonder's 1965 hit Uptight. Right. 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 
Step Out was first released as the B-side to Oasis's big hit Don't Look Back in Anger, and was intended to be included on the band's upcoming album What's the Story Morning Glory. However, once the likeness between Oasis's Step Out and Stevie Wonder's Uptight was noticed, Oasis had to forfeit 10% of Step Out's royalties and share songwriting credits with Stevie Wonder and the other two writers of Uptight. And for this reason, Oasis didn't include Step Out on the album. And for our last example today, I'll play you the song Feel the Pain by The Real People. See if you can recognise the Oasis track which was born out of this song. Don't go away. Oasis's Don't Go Away is quite clearly based on Feel the Pain by The Real People. Noel has effectively taken the lyrical idea and melodic phrasing and placed it into a major key setting here, rather than Feel the Pain's minor key. Despite Feel the Pain by The Real People not being a particularly well-known song, Noel was almost definitely familiar with the song, as Oasis had actually recorded their early demos with the help of Chris and Tony Griffith of The Real People. It's like when we... when. Uh... I would play people uh, cigarettes and alcohol for the first time and they'd say, it sounds like T-Rex. I'm like, no, no shit, does it fuck off? What? No way, I'd never noticed that. You know, aren't those two chords the same as Imagine? No shit. No. You can't do that, I can, and I will, and I have, and you'll buy it, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> 